couple weeks ago, I was over at the Aspen Clinic just working out in their performance center. You know, we have those interviews, I believe, on Thursdays of each week. I guess occasionally Wednesdays, just depends. Anyway, I was working out in the performance center there because I like it and it's convenient for me with the Aspen Club being closed. I can't do the hit classes there anymore, so I got to work out a little bit somewhere. got to find a place to go so the Aspen Clinic works for me. Anyway, I was coming out and I noticed a couple little Chihuahua dogs. And look, I like small dogs. My dog's not that small, but she's small. Um, and Chihuahuas are pretty cute. Anyway, so you know, I met the guy that uh, owns the dogs. And so strike up a conversation, which is generally what I do. When somebody has a dog, I strike up a conversation with him. And he deals in alkalized water. And I'm thinking, okay. I like me. I like water, but I don't know what alkalized water is, and he's a specialist in it. And so I thought, hey, why don't you come in and explain to me? I, I have done zero research on this, so I know nothing. I'm probably like many of you out there who know nothing about alkalized water. So let's talk to David Perez about it. David, thanks for spending some time with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, David. Yeah, no, it was uh, really nice to meet you. Your water, you gave me some water when I came into your place. At the, It's in the Roaring Fork Mid-Valley. How do you describe where your location is? Because I never know. A lot of people know it as uh, the Mid-Valley Medical Center. Okay. We're just the building right across the parking lot from there. From the Mid-Valley Medical Center. It's, where the, uh, it's in the ground floor. Uh, of where the uh, Aspen Clinic is. They're upstairs. You're on the ground floor. Uh, anyway, alkalized water. And wh- what is alkalized water? What does that mean? Well, you know, lucky for you, David, I learn and teach on a fourth grade level, so I think we're yeah. going to get along just fine. Uh, I'm more <laughs> on a second grade level, so you might want to dumb it down a little bit more. <laughs> no, basically uh, what it is is uh, the medical term for it is electrolyzed reduced water. Um, a lot of people, they, you know, we have a lot of tools nowadays, and uh, people can get online and... Uh, you, you Google a lot of things, but I highly recommend PubMed. PubMed uh, specializes in a lot of uh, medical research and such. But um, uh, the what's Pub stand for? Pu- uh, PubMed mm-hmm. is a it, is, it's open to the public. It's a website that um, that offers a lot of um, things for the general public so that they can research out you know different uh, vitamins, oh, supplements, okay. Okay. And, and water in this case. Um, but basically what it is, um, is it's filtered water, one, and then two, it's, it goes through a process uh, of electrolysis, so therefore it produces alkalized water. Uh, what that basically means is that it's rich in hydrogen, which is what the body needs to be able to boost its own immune system. Okay. And, and essentially, uh, you know, I, I've been blessed with the opportunity to see a lot of people um, see and experience a lot of health benefits. Okay, so uh, what, and how does it? How do you get? What do you do to get the? I mean, is it alkaline that's in there? What is it? So it, the water does not add any chemicals to it. Okay, okay? and that that's that's kind of big because nowadays you know you, it's getting pretty popular to where you go to the grocery store and you see a whole uh, lot of claims on the side of the water bottles. Alkaline water, this and which you have to be you know you have to be careful because you know since when I was growing up and you're still a little too young for this, but. Just wait till you get to be my age. Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, so, you know, when I was growing up, you, don't, you didn't have ingredients listed on a water bottle. Okay. So, whereas now you do, and you, that's something that you have to look into. But basically, the gist of it is a lot of, the, a lot of these water bottle companies, you know, they're, they're very clever with their marketing. And so, they, uh, they basically tell you in their marketing and labeling, hey, we're adding chemicals to produce this uh, alkaline water, which in itself is true. But what they really don't tell you is that they're doing it chemically, whereas with this technology, uh, it's done through electrolysis. Um, I know that the public can't really see yeah, this the, right the, now. The whole color chart, is it, it's, it's a challenge on radio. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically what the color chart is, is if, um, if you're on the acidic side, you're, if a body's on the acidic side, you know, you get the oranges and the yellows, um, that's... That's pristine conditions for the body to develop conditions such as cancer, diabetes, arthritis, cholesterol, okay. you know, all those icky things. Whereas it's uh, if the body's in, in an alkaline environment, uh, disease cannot exist in there. And I'm not. So I, disease cannot exist in an alkalized when your body's in an alkalized water development. Correct. Back in 1931, a Nobel Prize in uh, physiology discovered the cause of cancer. Uh, this is Dr. Otto Wardberg, uh, and he discovered that cancer grows in oxygen-deprived acidic tissue, 
and disease cannot live in an alkaline body. Okay. Um, why this isn't uh, more popular common knowledge? Uh, Not it sure. Perturbs me. Okay. What's his name? Doctor Otto Wardberg. Okay, Doctor Otto. Um, Otto Wardberg. Okay, so what is the benefits? What does I can cure? It, it, it's not a cure, but uh, right. I can I can help ward off cancer. What else with alkalized water? So a lot of people, a lot of my clients that uh, start drinking the water, they see a lot of health benefits. Um, like what can I expect if uh, or maybe look for? So the three key components that this water contains is one is that it's alkalized. So again, it doesn't add any chemicals. It's processed through electrolysis. So it's, uh, it uses electricity to produce this high, highly alkalized water. Uh, number two, it's, it's got a smaller structure. So professional athletes like the LA Lakers, New York Yankees, um, Red, uh, Boston Red Sox, they're all on this stuff because it hydrates the body six times quicker because of the smaller structure as opposed to just sitting in your stomach when you drink, you know, like Gatorade and all those other sports drinks. Okay. And uh, the third thing is that it's considered a super antioxidant. And so what that means is that once it goes into the cells, it uh, basically detoxes, helps detox the body. Now, the athletes use it because it does – makes me – more my body work more efficiently yeah exactly so you know when you're working out we we typically sweat because the body's creating an acidic environment and so uh, all that acidity has to uh, leave our bodies and that's usually through the sweat glands and through urine and so what this water does is that it helps the process of detoxification and we all know how important water is in our system uh, but the water that we drink out of our tap the water we drink out of our bottles that, that we buy at the grocery stores no good you know, that's a really good question, David. Um, on average, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, bottled water uh, that you get at the grocery store uh, has an average shelf uh, span of anywhere from one to three years from when it's poured to when it's consumed. I thought it was like 100 years. I thought you could, you know, drink water forever. It's um, just water. <laughs> that's what I used to think. Uh, I've, been a, uh, I've been in the medical profession for over 10 years now. And that's actually how I was introduced to this alkalized water. Um, I started uh, seeing a big pattern, you know, in uh, rise in diabetes and a lot of other ailments. And so when I started to do my own research, that's when uh, uh, a couple people, friends of mine uh, that I'm very close with now, introduced me to this. And that's how I got into this aspect of, of health and wellness. Now, uh, what is it typically when you uh, bring on a new customer and they're, they're all gung-ho, all right? They're saying, all right, whatever you say to me, I'm going to do. Uh, what is it that you see in there? Uh, how do they change? You know, tip, it depends on the person. You know, uh, obviously, uh, we live in a day and age where we wake up uh, in a bed box. We drive a box car. We eat out of boxes in our little box cubicles. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so what we have to keep in mind is that, you know, the stuff that we're putting into our body, uh, it's going to affect us one way or another. Uh, a lot of the times they, uh, the foods and especially the beverages, they have a lot of chemicals and uh, a lot of refined sugars and such. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, we live in a day and age where, where we're busy and, you know, we, we live busy lives. But we have to treat our bodies well because, you know, without our bodies, we really can't do much. And so um, what, what I do with a lot of the clients, you know, just depending on where they're at in life, I get a lot of people with, uh, you know, severe ailments and uh, chronic diseases, uh, such as diabetes, cancers, um, arthritis and such. And so, you know, depending on the case, I, I, I don't treat anybody as a, you know, there's no cookie cutter system. I really listen to the individual and, um, and I get them on a program that I think is suitable. I also do health and wellness um, uh, health clinics. So, you know, again, depending on the individual, I, uh, I basically cater uh, a system for that, that will work for them. Speaking with uh, David Perez, uh, what's the, you're an alkalized water specialist. What's the name of uh, your store at the, uh, the at Raywall, I guess, the building that's below the Aspen Clinic? It is Grace Water Solutions, LLC. Grace Water Solutions, LLC. And uh, what, do you have a website? Uh, I do have a uh, Facebook page. So it's facebook.com forward slash grace, that's G-R-A-C-E, dot it's just water. A, how about if you just go to <laughs> Facebook solutions. and search for uh, Grace Water Solutions, they'll probably find it, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the only way. So you, we, 
you try to do the HTTP right. website and it's like nobody remembers half of what you say. So the best thing to do is anytime use the search uh, queue and uh, go for Grace Water Solutions. I bet you if you Google Grace Water Solutions, you probably come up with your Facebook page. Maybe it should be on there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so is there a water out there? Can I go to the Cowan Center uh, in Carbondale and go into the refrigerator? And find a water uh, that, because I mean, if I bring my water to you, you'll test it and tell me how much, how alkalized it is. Correct. Yes. Uh, is there a, a water I can buy at Cowan Center's grocery store? Because they have a pretty good selection. Uh, I haven't seen any um, in the valley. Like my buddy wants me to ask you if Fiji's any good. Yeah, that I get that all the time. Actually, I get people. You pe- do? People ask you about Fiji? Mm-hmm. I get people. You know, because it is kind of local. Uh, uh, there's a local uh, element to it. It's not my favorite water. You already poo-pooed my favorite water. You told me it sucked. And, uh, I'm going to die tomorrow. No. <laughs> but uh, uh, is Fiji any good? You know, uh, the last time that I tested Fiji, it uh, came about kind of in the middle, like about 7.0. Is that good or bad? Uh, that's in the middle. That's neutral. And uh, Can I see that, Jar? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Here you go. All right. Yeah, I'm working well for radio. Okay, so uh, 7.0, a neutral for alkaline. So it's it's not going to kill you. What's what's my aquafina? aquafina? Where's that test? Aquafina uh, tends to be a little more on the acidic side along with the uh, – I know, I know. Well, uh, wait a minute. That Reverse osmosis makes delicious water. It's what I drink all summer long constantly. Uh, if I can, I'm going to get a little technical with RO water. Uh, What's oh reverse osmosis? See, exactly. That, that's see, I'm on the inside. I'm pretty some reverse osmosis. R O T. I'm 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 feeling you. Okay. All so right. so with reverse osmosis, uh, it it it's beneficial in the sense that it yes it does take all the icky and the bad chemicals out. You know the 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 harmful stuff. But at the same time, it takes the essential minerals that water needs to stay balanced. And so what a lot of people aren't aware of is that as soon as you start consuming that water, water is a living element, and so it's going to find those minerals. Guess where it finds them? One's bones. So it's actually detrimental to one's health to just drink RO water. Come on, don't say that. Now you're wrecking <laughs> this whole— Okay, what's what's uh, the Blue Lake tap water test out at? I, I haven't tested that one, day. <laughs> Um, but I will be sure to do that this afternoon, Okay, I how think. about the—like, I, I buy my water. The majority of the water I drink— is um, uh, it comes out of the five gallon plastic things that I get from a, a local guy, and it's supposedly spring water. Mm-hmm. Is that good? I've tested some of those. Uh, keep in mind, Dave. Uh, this that, guy, this, this company is doesn't matter. This company is popular, so um, anybody who I mean, pretty much everybody drinks his water if they get bottled water, unless they go to the grocery store. But that's a pain. Let me put it to you this way. Um, Almost on a daily basis, people bring all sorts of water, well water, river water, um, uh, private water, uh, new bottled uh, water companies. And thus far, none have stood. Uh, Come on. That's not that's not true. Well, you have to keep in mind, this isn't just, uh, again, this is alkalized water, but it, it's also super antioxidant. So let me. So can I can I buy a bottle of Aquafina and stick something in it so it becomes uh, alkalized? Uh, it's not recommended. Why not? <laughs> because your body has to process those chemicals, David. <sighs> I know. So here, uh, <clears throat> for those, obviously you guys can't see this, but um, it's an oxidation scale. So <clears throat> let me ex- briefly explain this. Uh, when something uh, produces a positive ORP. ORP stands for oxidation reduction potential. That's just a fancy way of uh, gauging if something is an antioxidant okay. or, or if something oxidizes the body. So positive number, oxidizes is bad. So in that category, we have tap water, bottled water, uh, soda, juices. And then if we have a negative number, that means it's an a- antioxidant. So let me put things into perspective. Uh, juices, bottled water, all that good stuff, it's at a positive 400 okay. on average. Green tea, one of the strongest antioxidants that we know of, can produce, we'll give it a negative 60, which is pretty high. Yeah. This water standard, straight from these units, negative 400. What that means is that while an individual can eat healthy, you cannot eat enough fruits and vegetables to produce the same amount of uh, antioxidants that this water can. Yeah. So two 
glasses of this water is equivalent equivalent to five pounds of blueberries and antioxidants. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I just Googled uh, how much water I'm supposed to drink. Do you know how much water? So the recommend- How much should I drink a day? The recommended amount is you take one's body weight in pounds, you divide it, by, you divide it in half, and whatever amount you get, th- those are the amount of ounces you're supposed to drink. Well, I don't know how many. Uh, there's, they say you're supposed to drink uh, at least eight eight ounces, so that's 64. Uh, I weigh more than 128 pounds. Okay, so anyway, that would be a half a gallon. So you, you need to drink between a half gallon and a gallon of water. More or less, yes. More or less. Uh, is buying alkalized water, uh, you know, a gallon a day, and that doesn't include, well, I guess I should probably include my coffee, but um, <laughs> uh, is, is can, does, does the coffee wreck the alkaliz, alkaliz, alkalization? So that's a very good question. Uh, Thank you. And the answer is no. So Sweet. what happens is, you know, I Sweet. at my office, yeah, I do offer coffee, teas, uh, mostly organic and all that good stuff. And, but I do have chocolate, of course, you know, because during the winter time. Well, hello, it uh, doesn't. Uh, there's chocolate in the other in the other room. So come on. Um, so what it does is uh, it neutralizes the acidity of the coffee and it enhances the flavor. Okay, you think so? Uh, it's gonna that, make my uh, Rock Canyon coffee better. Well, that's why I brought you a couple jugs so that you can go ahead and uh, test right, it out Craig, for yourself. All right, Craig, we're going to test this out ourselves because uh, Rock Canyon Coffee is uh, one of my involuntary sponsors. See, they don't pay me. I just sponsor them because I love their coffee so much. And uh, I'll try it with the Rock Canyon Coffee. But, uh, okay, because I guarantee I drink about a gallon of water a day if you throw in the coffee because I drink a lot of coffee. Well, it'll, it'll, I think that you'll uh, notice the difference. Okay. Well, uh, how do I get a hold of you? The best way to get a hold of you, uh, I guess, Facebook. If I go to Facebook and uh, go to Grace Water Solutions, Google that. Yeah, absolutely. Or um, call me at KNFO now at gmail.com. Text me. You can text me at KNFO. Just put it in your text line. KNFO now at gmail.com. It'll come to me. And, uh, uh, and I'll hook you up. With uh, David Perez, and then what else? What's you have a phone number? Yeah, uh, let me. Uh, if you, I'll give you guys a second to grab a pen if you guys want to, uh, or just save it on your phones. But uh, a lot of the times, you know, I still work in the uh, as a health professional in yeah. the uh, medical industry uh, as well as the legal. Uh, so I'm out and about, you know. But I do have a lot of my clients. They text me. They call me. Say, hey, David, are you going to be in the office? So um, if you guys are ready, my phone number. It is a, a, an out of state area code. It's area code seven one four. Four nine six yep. one zero seven seven again seven one four four nine six one zero seven seven. You guys can call and text me, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Seven one four four nine six one zero seven. What's seven one four? California, uh, Southern California, Southern California. You left Southern California. You missed. You missed the traffic. No, I heard you spent uh, hundreds of hours of time and waiting in traffic in Southern California. There was a news story today on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty horrible. Yeah, well, I'm glad that you're here. You can check them out, 714-496-1077, 496-1077. That's a 714 area code. And then, David, if I may just add, yeah, uh, just real briefly, uh, I do network with a, a lot of uh, people in the uh, – a lot of professionals in the healthcare industry. Uh, I have water stations up and down the valley that you guys are welcome to visit. Uh, I work with uh, closely with Dr. John Hughes over at Aspen Integrative Medicine and Basalt, uh, Mom's Day Off with Miss Amy. If you guys ever need a, uh, a, a, a professional to uh, take care of your baby. And uh, got to send some shout-outs out to Jose over at Glenwood Springs Ford. Uh, super good guy. Yeah, and big sponsor of our radio stations. Nice, nice. And then you also have um, Bert asking you, when are you going to stop by Fahrenheit Body Spas? Because... He, uh, you know, he, uh, I network well with, well with him, and uh, they've been wanting you in, in there. Yeah, they want me to spend my money over. That's a Bronco, brother. Bert, you owe me a hamburger. And, anyway. And lastly, can't forget about Dr. Alicia over at Active Life Chiropractic. Uh, just excellent professionals, and um, yeah. David Perez dropping well-known names from the uh, Roaring Fork Valley. 714-496-1077 or just text me. I'll get you hooked up with them. KNFO now at gmail.com. KNFO now at gmail.com. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, David. 55 minutes past the hour. Thanks for listening. David Box Show brought to you by Clark's Market. Best grocery store in Aspen. Clark's Market right there on Mill Street. Also, the Hot Springs Lodge and Pool, where I'm going to go and soak my tired back because that water heals. It really does. Hot Springs Lodge and Pool. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow.